morning, everyone, and welcome to our celebration of the Holy Eucharist on this, the Tuesday of the fifth week of the season of Lent. We come together to pray in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you always. And with your spirit. We've gathered to celebrate these sacred mysteries in gratitude for God's blessings in our life, and for the grace to help us to be a patient people, a people of faith in our Savior Jesus. Let us humbly acknowledge our sins and ask for mercy. Lord Jesus, you came to call sinners. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. Christ Jesus, you purify us by your blood. Christ, have mercy. Christ, Christ have, have mercy. mercy. Lord Jesus, in you we live and move and have our being. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Grant us, we pray, O Lord, perseverance in obeying your will, that in our days the people dedicated to your service may grow in both merit and number through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Numbers. From Mount Hort, the children of Israel set out on the Red Sea Road to bypass the land of Edom. But with their patience worn out by the journey, the people complained against God and Moses. Why have you brought us up from Egypt to die in this desert where there is no food or water? We are disgusted with this wretched food. In punishment, the Lord set among the people seraph serpents which bit the people so that many of them died. Then the people came to Moses and said, We have sinned in complaining against the Lord and you. Pray the Lord to take the serpents away from us. So Moses prayed for the people, and the Lord said to Moses, Make a seraph and mount it on a pole, and whoever looks at it after being bitten will live. Moses accordingly made a bronze serpent and mounted it on a pole, and whenever anyone who had been bitten by a serpent looked at the bronze serpent, he lived. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. O oh Lord, hear my prayer and let me cry come to you. O oh Lord, Lord, hear, hear my, my prayer and let my cry come, come to you. O oh Lord, hear my prayer and let my cry come to you. Hide not your face from me in the day of my distress. Incline your ear to me in the day when I call, answer me speedily. O oh Lord, Lord, hear my prayer and let my cry come to you. The nations shall revere your name, O oh Lord, and all the kings of the earth your glory. When the Lord has rebuilt Zion and appeared in his glory, when he has regarded the prayer of the destitute and not despised their prayer. O oh Lord, Lord, hear my prayer Lord, and let my cry come to you. Let this be written for the generation to come, and let his future creatures praise the Lord. The Lord looked down from his holy height. From heaven he beheld the earth to hear the groaning of the prisoners, to release those doomed to die. O Lord, hear my prayer, and let my cry come to you. You're welcome, Father. The Lord be with you from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory, Glory to you, Lord. Lord. Jesus said to the Pharisees, I'm going away, and you will look for me, but you will die in your sin. Where I am going, you cannot come. So the Jews said, he is going to kill himself, is he? Because he said, where I am going, you cannot come. What is above? You belong to this world, but I do not belong to this world. I told you, you will die in your sin. For if you do not believe that I am, you will die in your sins. So they asked him, Who are you? Jesus said to them, What I have told you from the beginning, 
I have much to say about you in condemnation. But the one who sent me is true, and what I heard from him, I tell the world. They did not realize he was speaking to them about the Father. Lift up the Son of Man that I am, but that I do nothing on my own. The Father taught me. The one who sent me is with me. He has not left me alone because I always do what is pleasing to him. Because he spoke this way to believe in him. The gospel of the Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ. Well, I hope everyone is taking one day at a time and working patiently through the daily routine, which is probably different for many people, overwhelming for others, especially in the medical profession. But all of us are called to be patiently aware of ourselves and our relationship with the Lord so that we can grow in our love for the Lord. The word in the gospel, in the first reading today from the book of Numbers, talks about how the people of Israel on their journey to the promised land, freedom from slavery, they're heading towards the promised land. Their patience is worn out. They're not very patient in this process of slavery to salvation. They want it now. Even centuries ago, people want it now. The reality is, is it's a process. And to grow in patience, to learn more how to live patiently, is a process for all of us. They had to deal with it for 40 years. We're dealing with it for maybe four, four weeks or maybe two months or who knows how long. But it's a time for us to practice patience, a time for us to be a patient people in relationship not only to our God, but to one another and to our family. Oftentimes at um, the celebration of reconciliation, particularly a mother will come in and say, Father, I need to confess my lack of patience, especially with my kids. And I say, well, okay. And they say, just have the Lord give me more patience. And I say, be careful what you pray for. Why do you say that? Well, let's use a physical fitness analogy. If I want to have strong biceps, the best way for me to have strong, big biceps is to put more weight on it and make it tougher for me to be able to work the biceps. By doing that, it's going to go stronger. So if you want more patience, and you're asking God to give you more patience, God might give you more trials, more difficulties, so you can practice your patience. Usually the people are surprised at that. It's like, oh, I don't know if I want more difficulty. I'm having a hard enough time being patient as it is. But yet, in a, in a way, we want patience. We need to be able to develop that skill, that ability. And in this time of this worldwide pandemic, it's valuable for us to be patient with one another, to be patient with ourselves, to be patient with our family. I read the headline in the paper today that already in this short time with this pandemic that is taking place, the number of domestic violence incidents is going up. That's sad. Families can't be patient with each other that they want what they want, what they want right now, and they want their position, they want their control, they want their will, and unfortunately, sometimes they turn to violence in order to get it. That's not patience. The people of Israel struggle with patience, and we struggle with being a patient people. But what I tell people in the confessional, if you want patience, then don't get so hard and so down on yourself when you're not patient. Affirm yourself. Acknowledge the times when you are patient. Wow, I was really patient with my kids today. Thank you, Lord, for helping me to be patient. Wow, I was really patient with my wife today or my husband today. Thank you, Lord, for letting me be patient. May I continue to develop that and nurture that. The people of Israel had to go through the struggle of God's enlightenment through the seraph serpents. May we not have to go through that kind of trial and turmoil. May we be patient, practice patience, and be grateful for the opportunities and the times that we are patient. 
May the grace of this sacrament help us to grow not only in our love for God, but in our patience with ourselves and with one another. Let us then offer our prayers of petition to our God. For Pope Francis, for all the cardinals, for the bishops, that they lead with mercy in this time of world crisis, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For local and global leaders, that they unite resources combined to beat this COVID-19 and assist the needs of the poor, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. prayer. For the homebound, for the homeless, in this time of quiet, may they draw strength in the Lord. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. For students at home working, for parents with officing uh, at home, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. For patience for today in times when we may be impatient, that we draw strength in Jesus Christ, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. For our loved ones that have gone before us, marked in the sign of faith and the thanksgiving for life itself, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. And for all of our personal prayers and intentions that we offer to God now, in the silence of our hearts. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. Almighty and all-powerful God, hear these our prayers of petition. Grant them through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God, of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this bread that we offer you, the fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed, Blessed be God, God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God, of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this wine that we offer you, the fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed, Blessed be God, God forever. forever. Please pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all of his holy church. We offer you, O Lord, the sacrifice of conciliation, that being moved to compassion, you may both pardon our offenses and direct our wavering hearts through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with, with your spirit. spirit. Lift up your hearts. We have lifted up to the Lord. Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Jesus Christ, your Son and our Lord. For through the saving passion of your Son, the whole world has received a heart to confess the infinite power of your majesty. Since by the wondrous power of the cross, your judgment on the world is now revealed and the authority of Christ crucified. And so, Lord, with all the angels and saints, we too give you thanks as in exaltation we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord God, God of hosts, hosts heaven and earth, earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew falls, that they may become for us the body and blood of your beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread. And giving thanks, he broke the bread, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you.
In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and to minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis I, our Pope, Joseph, our Bishop, and with all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and our sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, Joseph, her most chaste spouse, with the blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with Saint Leo, our patron, and with all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, our Lord, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by his divine teaching, we now have the courage and the confidence to pray. Our, Our Father, who art in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, come, thy will be done, on earth, earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not at our sins, graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will forever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with, and with your spirit. spirit. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take, take away, away the sin of the world. world. Have, Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Grant us peace. Behold, Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof. But only say the word, and my soul shall be you. love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually to my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there. 
and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that ever seeking what is divine, we may always be worthy to approach these heavenly gifts through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with, with your spirit. spirit. Pray for God's blessings. Bow your heads. O God, who choose to show mercy, not anger, to those who hope in you, Grant that your faithful may weep as they should for the evil they have done, and so merit the grace of consolation through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Thank you for your patience in this time and your participation in the Holy Eucharist through this multimedia source. Thank you for your faithfulness to God. Pray every day for gratitude for the patience that you express and pray for our world that we may come to a relief in this coronavirus. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace. Thanks, Thanks be God. to God. Heavenly Father, bless our diocese with the grace of many vocations, to the priesthood, diaconate, and religious life. Grant to those you have called the willingness and generosity of spirit, devoting their lives and their talents to the service of our Lord and to his church. Increase the faith of all within our diocese, especially the faith of those you are calling. We ask this through Christ your Son, our Lord. Amen.